In Ethiopia, child mortality is among the highest in the world. Out of every 1,000 live births, at least 120 children will die before they're five years old. But a new medical study shows that an oral antibiotic treatment for a non-lethal disease can actually save children's lives, preventing deaths from other diseases. The study, led by researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, was conducted in the mountainous Amhara region in Ethiopia, where 60% of children suffer from trachoma, a bacterial eye infection that is the world's leading preventable cause of blindness. Children get infected with ocular chlamydia, which causes trachoma, at a very young age in this environment, probably months old, and they contract it from their elder brothers and sisters in the house. Trachoma is also transmitted by flies. I would be much happier if we didn't see these flies coming to the faces, but the flies can only transmit trachoma when there are infected children around. To break the cycle of transmission here, the Atlanta-based Carter Center has worked for almost 10 years with the Ethiopian government and other partners on a trachoma control program that promotes facial cleanliness, sanitary measures like building latrines, corrective surgery, and treatment with an antibiotic, azithromycin. This is a very strong antibiotic. It's just given once a year. And for those above the age of five years, the you know, number of tablets could vary between two to four. Azithromycin is donated by the drug maker Pfizer through the International Trachoma Initiative. Every year, millions of doses of azithromycin are distributed in this region, and there's been some concern about that. The common wisdom is that nonspecific antibiotic use is a bad thing that society would be better off uh, if antibiotics were restricted. But in this area of Ethiopia, antibiotics are uh, not readily available at all. And here we found that even non-specific antibiotic use had a, had a large benefit. Some benefits had already been noticed by health extension workers who distributed the antibiotic. They enjoy giving people the azithromycin because in addition to the effect on trachoma, it is a very useful drug and clears uh, skin infections, respiratory tract infections, has a very positive effect on diarrheal disease, and even helps to prevent malaria. But the new study, a randomized clinical trial involving more than 18,000 children in 48 villages, shows the health benefits go far beyond that. In communities that received uh, mass oral azithromycin distributions for trachoma, the childhood mortality rate was lower than in communities that did not. Specifically, the study shows in the communities that received the antibiotic, the death rate for children dropped by almost half. But researchers still don't know exactly why. The largest causes of uh, childhood mortality in this area of Ethiopia are diarrhea, respiratory disease, and malaria. And azithromycin can have an effect on each of these. But it'll take further studies to see if, if any of these in particular were decreased or whether it was due to some other reason. The study shows azithromycin has already saved thousands of children's lives in this part of Ethiopia. And researchers say if these results can be repeated in other studies, the exciting next stage will be combining azithromycin with other drugs to find a perfect pill to distribute in regions like this, a two-in-one or even a six-in-one dose that could play a major role in reducing child mortality.